Irappa Borge's dream to become an engineer was nourished in this very house. It's a small one-room dwelling where he grew up with his parents and two younger brothers. His father, a laborer, had to take a loan of almost 3,000 euros, a small fortune for him, to put Irappa through university. Neither my father or mother nor anyone in my family has had an education. So I thought I would become an engineer and make enough money so that they no longer have to work. After graduating, he had been working comfortable office jobs in big cities like Pune and Bangalore until the pandemic hit and his company shut down. Since then, he's had to take up the plow. Irappa was supposed to be his family's ticket out of poverty. But now he's back home in his village in the southern state of Karnataka, digging ditches under government program. We had difficulty getting a meal without working. I was so worried and depressed. I then found out about this work under Narega. Narega, or the National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, a government scheme guarantees 100 days of unskilled work in rural areas. It was set up in 2006 to help reduce poverty and provide some income stability for poor families. Europa used to make 230 euros a month. Now he makes 3 euros a day. I feel so bad right now because I was working in a big company as a manager and making good money. I never thought I would have to leave my job and come do work like this. Since April, 60 million households applied for work under this government scheme, a record since its inception in 2006. Europa is working alongside MBA graduates, bank employees and other professionals. Before 2020, under this scheme, we used to have only unskilled workers. But this year, out of the 300-odd laborers, 30 are highly qualified. These men were made aware of this program by Lakshmi Bhavke, a local activist. Any plans of going to Bangalore? I want to go, but haven't yet because of the pandemic. I have had interviews for jobs, but have heard back from no one. The Indian government isn't really thinking about all these young people. They say that this country depends on its youth, that they should actually do something for them, make some policies, set up a commission, maybe give them a monthly stipend for some time. The nature of India's job market leaves poor workers even more vulnerable in crises such as this pandemic. In March, India instituted one of the world's strictest lockdowns and that hit the economy hard. In one month, 121 million people, mostly in the informal sector, lost their jobs. Those in the formal sector were also badly hit. Between April and August, 21 million salaried professionals found themselves out of work. Most of our workers, even in the formal sector of the economy, are temporary workers and, in fact, mostly without even written contracts. Uh, so these workers, particularly the poorer workers, were without jobs soon after lockdown. Back in her village in Karnataka, Lakshmi continues to raise awareness about the work scheme. There is no work in the village except for this program. They will give you 100 days of work. Are you ready to do it? In these difficult times, there are some positive stories. Arun used to be a computer operator. Since April, he's also been working under the government scheme. Lakshmi raised around 500 euros through a local organization and helped him start a cyber center, the only one in the village. If people need things like documents, voter ID, bank accounts, I do it for them, so they don't have to go to the nearest town. While unemployment numbers have improved over the past couple of months, experts believe that it will take years for the job market to properly bounce back. Until then, millions in India will have to put their dreams on hold.